Welcome to our Ham Nation 400 celebration. Thank you for sharing in the excitement and importance of ham radio. Thank you for tossing that antenna wire into a tree and talking to the world. Thank you for helping during natural disasters. Thank you for being a ham and a Ham Nation viewer. So many memories, so little time. How do you compress 400 episodes into approximately four or five minutes? Well, how about we start in the beginning? Ham Nation premiered May 24th, 2011. That was about eight years ago, plus or minus a few weeks. On that fateful night, Bob Heil, K9EID, joined Joe Walsh, WB6ACU. Together, they explored their fascination with ham radio and threw in a little rock and roll. Walsh of the rock group Eagles fame would later write and perform the Ham Nation theme song, turning dit 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 da 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 into music. On August 10th that year, Leo Laporte joined Bob and Gordon West. Leo created the TWIT.TV network, and on this night he showed off his new amateur radio call sign, W6TWT. They also explained amateur radio television, and George Thomas joined the team with Smoke and Solder. This night, he showed the proper tools that every ham needs. Ham Nation went to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas with Gordo in episode 32. That was on January 25th in 2012. During episode 33, the next week, Gordo shared his adventures from Court Fest. And then Leo helped Gordo show the power of electric current by smoking a pickle with his Morris code key. And they all received inspiration from Buddy Holly's Peggy Sue, K5PSG. The first milestone took place May 31st that year. Episode 50 was a great achievement for the young show. Gordon and Julian celebrated by operating from the beach in Hawaii. Episode 61 on August 23rd, 2012, introduced the 40-meter after show net. Mike WT6H was a guest. And to this day, the after show nets have played an important part in Ham Nation outreach. We had to wait until May 30th, 2013 to celebrate Ham Nation 100, and Joe Walsh joined the celebration. This episode also featured the premiere of Show Me Your Shack. Episode 106 on July 18th that year featured one of the more popular demos from Gordo. He explained VHF tropo ducting. Bob showed how to connect audio studio monitors to your receiver. Episode 118 on October 10th introduced one of our most popular guests, on that night, Fred Lloyd, AA7BQ, the founder and operator of the QRZ website, joined Bob. We always have fun on the Christmas broadcast. In episode 128 on December 19th that year was no different. Santa joined the host with a message from the North Pole, and we discussed the freeze, your acorns off QRP event. Fast forward now to October 1st, 2014, and episode 167, Valerie Hotzfeld had become a regular host, and on this night, she explained how to set up Logbook of the World. We also tipped our hat to Ham Nation on ABC Television in the show Last Man Standing with Tim Allen. The audience sees Tim's ham shack during Mike's vlog every week, and he even operated on the show's Thanksgiving broadcast that year. Many members of the production crew passed the test, and they now hold amateur radio call signs. 2015 saw another big celebration. During episode 199 on June 3rd, Bob featured Al Matthews, K1LTJ. Al described the huge pileups during the Ham Nation Bicentennial special event. Joe Walsh joined Bob again for Ham Nation episode 200 the next week. That was on June 10th. On December 9th that year, Randy Hall made one of his most popular appearances on 
Ham Nation 26. His video showed how he built his ham shack in his new home in Oregon. Beginning in 2018 and continuing to this day, Randy's new series, Show Us Your Project, premiered, and it's become very popular. Episode 255 on July 6, 2016, featured a new Ham Nation regular, the space weather lady, Dr. Tamathis Gov. She appears every week just following Newsline, and she explains the effect of the sun's weather on amateur radio propagation. And speaking of our young ladies, Ham Nation episode 264 on September 7th that year featured all YLs all the time. The all YL cast interviewed special guest Victor Alpha One YL. Amanda, K1DDN, who reports from the chat room every week, anchored that episode. 2017 was another remarkable year. Bob kicked off the Pine Board Project. On episode 289, he described the transmitter. The ARRL's QST magazine would feature this Ham Nation project on its cover of the January edition the next year. As it has every year, Ham Nation hosts broadcasts live from the Dayton Hamvention. This year, they celebrated episode 300. And oh yes, there was another on-air special event going on. Emergency communication is a mainstay of the amateur experience. And in 2017, amateur operators saw plenty of action. During Ham Nation 320 on October 4th, Bob featured Tom Gallagher, the ARRL CEO. Gallagher described hurricane recovery efforts in Puerto Rico. His appearance was another milestone for Ham Nation. It marked the first time a national ARRL official had appeared on Ham Nation. Ham Nation's own Valerie, NV9L, was one of 50 amateur radio operators selected to travel to Puerto Rico. She assisted with recovery communications there for several weeks. 2018 was another good year for Ham Nation. Episode 335 in January featured a preview of Hamcation in Orlando. We saw pine board projects built by our readers. Bob and Gordo talked about their field day experiences. And that was on episode 357 in June. And episode 363 in August featured a preview of the Huntsville Ham Fest. Speaking of Huntsville, our own Don Wilbanks, AE5DW, who presents Newsline every week, represents Ham Nation every year. Don's proud to present the Young Ham of the Year Award winner. That brings us to 2019. This year, it's shaping up to be another exciting year for the Ham Nation team. For example, Bob got to try out his new Amico transmitter build during episode 393. This transmitter kit is a replica of a kit that was popular in the early 1960s. Then episode 395 on March 27th featured the ARRL's new volunteer monitor program. Bob interviewed former FCC official Riley Hollingsworth, K4ZDH. He's heading that program for the ARRL. But tonight's the big night. And thank you for being with us for 400 episodes of Ham Nation. <laughs> <laughs>